Ja, liebe Leute, und damit herzlich willkommen zu einem neuen Let's Play Projekt hier bei Ultimate Games namens Late Shift. Ja, es ist ein interaktives Spiel, beziehungsweise ein interaktiver Film, wo man selbst Entscheidungen treffen muss in Bruchteilen von Sekunden. Es ist, glaube ich, ein Thriller oder ein Krimi, wo irgendwie über einen Banküberfall spielt. Und ich würde sagen, ich tue jetzt gar nicht so viel vorweg erzählen, damit die Spannung ein bisschen oben bleibt. Ich starte einfach mal ein neues Spiel und wünsche euch viel Spaß bei dem Film. Let's go! Some people say we're all connected. All part of some bigger picture. Some harmonious flow, endless and meaningful. Maybe that's how it looks from a distance. But up close, with eyes open, I see no evidence of any spiritual choreographer at work. No, I see nothing but the random fractals of a selfish, queenless hive. Never looking, never stopping, never meeting. Don't get me wrong, yeah? I'm not judging anyone. I mean, I want to get home as fast as the next person. But is it my unwavering selflessness that allows others to go before me? Or the selfish knowledge that the last one will be the first off? Someone is always going to end up standing right by the door. I'm just good at making sure it's me. Like it or not, life's a sinister competition. An endless series of choices, large or small, each with its own set of probabilities. All wind. Now that is an 80% chance this is my train. It's worth a dash. Excuse me. Uh, Random variables. Never underestimate the human factor. Bond Street. Bond Street. It's, uh, it's on the other platform. Thank you. Ja, und dann noch einmal herzlich willkommen zu Late Shift, dem interaktiven Film. Und man, man, ihr merkt schon, man muss wirklich sehr schnell Entscheidungen treffen. Man hat da wirklich nur Bruchteil von Sekunden Zeit. Und wir spielen wahrscheinlich den Protagonisten hier, der, wie es aussieht, als Nachtwächter arbeitet in irgendeinem Parkhaus, der jetzt zur Nachtschicht antritt. Und ich bin mal sehr gespannt. Wie der Film so ist. Right. There's two cars out, the rest are logged. Should be a nice, quiet night. See you tomorrow. Yeah, we'll do. Auch nicht wirklich ein toller Job. And here they are. The most meaningful relationship I've ever had in my life. With a bunch of metal bimbos. <sighs> Look at you, my beauty. You could keep me in college for over a decade. Geile Autos auf jeden Fall. Das ist, glaube ich, dieser BMW. Ich weiß es aber leider nicht die Bezeichnung. Wie er genau heißt. Yeah, for the way he saturates it with his ego. Ah, here he is. Did you put all wrongdoers to flight? Uh, you can leave the keys to me, sir. I'll park the car for you. I'm not the driver, son. Oh. <laughs> Do beg your pardon, madam. No problem. No tip. Him or her? Fuck. Thank you. You know, sometimes choices are so small you don't even see them. You are your decisions. That's what shapes you. 
and that last one shaped me into a little bit of a chauvinist, just like that pig in a suit. Es scheinen wirklich ziemlich reiche Leute rumzufahren. Es sind echt alles geile Sportkisten. Porsche, BMW. Nicht schlecht. Get some. Not exactly. Um, I'm sorry about before. You know, just assuming like that. Oh, ignore him. He's being an arsehole. I think your boyfriend's an arsehole. <laughs> Don't you? But, uh, he does have a nice car. <laughs> what are you reading? Just a little bit of light study. <laughs> Looks pretty heavy to me. <sighs> Can I help you with something? Uh, I need a favor. I need the keys to the Maserati. Does Dr. Brent know? Of course he does. Okay. Okay, then you want my signing for it then? It's okay. He doesn't know. It's a secret, but I really need those keys. It's just for tonight. I'll be back before two. I want to know why you need the car. We don't need to worry about that. Fine. Oh. <sighs> okay, I made a bet. A stupid bet that I could turn up at this party in a Maserati. That was rash. How much did the bet for? A grand. A grand? <sighs> a hundred of it is yours if you let me have those keys. Oh, 100 for me. Oh, 200. 200. Okay. Okay. In cash tonight. I'm good for it. <laughs> Fuck. Komm, schlag schon ein. Wir hätten so noch mehr verlangen können. What? Oh. Was ist jetzt? Oh, da unten. Unten rechts, da ist einer am Auto. Ich würde sagen, wir schauen mal nach. Das ist schließlich unser Job. Auch wenn ich kein gutes Gefühl dabei habe. No more fast cars tonight, alright? Hm. Wer versteckt sich da am Auto? Turn around. Slowly. Now get over it. Oh. Drop it. Ich lass mal lieber fallen. Das schließt ja eine Waffe. Smart. Now get in the car. Oi, dickhead. Does it look like I can drive? You get behind the wheel. You want me to drive you out of here? That's exactly what you're going to do. Der hockt ja gerade neben mir da streng. Der wegrennt, glaube ich, nicht so eine gute Option. Man merkt schon, das Spiel kann man mehrmals durchzocken. Bei diesem Film mehr oder weniger. Da gibt es echt tausend verschiedene Möglichkeiten. Wir hätten jetzt auch wegrennen können. Go now, right? You 
stay right where you are. Look, I'm a fucking student. Okay, I've got no money. My family's got no money. I'm worth nothing to you. You done now? Get in the house. Yeah, he had no weapon, man. He could pop a shot into the. Security gear. Just want to make sure I look the part. And I want to make sure we have a project of gear, Simon. Who the fuck is that? It's the night guard. What happened to your eye? He fell 15 feet onto a concrete floor. This is your idea of a slick operation. Dripping DNA all over the place. Kidnapping the first innocent bystander. I got the card, didn't I? It's outside. Jesus Christ. And who the hell's gonna drive? Because you're clearly not. I'll be all right. Fucking idiot. It has to be four people. There is no way you can manage the auction assistant and everyone downstairs on your own. I'm well aware of how many people it has to be. They have to call it off. Do you want to tell Mr. Wu that we missed the one chance to get our hands on his fucking rice ball? Because I don't. We have one window of opportunity and we're gonna use it. Fine. How? Leave him to bleed. We need to make some calls and try and find a replacement in the next. Shit, in the next 30 minutes, call Danny if he doesn't pick up. Try and get hold of that you know, Irish Pete. What about him? Let's put a bullet in him. I don't care. No, 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 no. no. I, I don't know who you guys are or what you're up to, okay? I'm not going to say anything to anyone. Well, it's not going to take you long to figure it out, is it? Well, no, not if you keep talking in front of me, it won't. It'll be on the news, smart ass. I'm not a murderer. I don't intend to start now. Pass me Diffinoxin and a couple of cable ties. Uh, yeah. Diffinoxin? What the fuck is that? Guess would have headaches like you. Hold oh, still, making things worse. <laughs> Your headache's gonna start the moment you knock me out. And why is that? Because your mate on the couch there, he may have brought you the BMW, but he's brought it here with a valet key. A valet key, what the fuck is that? It's a parking key. It means you can't drive faster than 35 miles an hour. Not great for a getaway car, is it? And why do you think it's a getaway car? Your face? Is this fucking right about the key? It puts a block on the electrics, but we can sort it. No, you can't. You can't do it without triggering the immobilizer. But I can. Well, you can. No, certainly can. Looks like you just bought yourself a ticket and bought this operation. Are you serious? Are you going to go to the basement? We've got no idea who he is. After tonight, we're not going to see him again. What difference does it make? The difference is this guy looks like trouble. Well, Mr. Wu is trouble, and we've made a deal with him we can't go back on. What do you say? I don't care who does what, as long as I get my car. You best not fuck this up. OK, let's get set. So what's the plan? This is what's going to happen. I'll double up on Lee's position. And this guy, what's your name? Matt. Matt, sticks with Mei Ling. You take up the slack. Super. Okay, we need to get moving. We need to be at the auction house before nine. Put this on. You're joking. We'll find us something. Okay, jetzt sind wir schon drin. Mal schauen, was die hier vorhaben. Ist jetzt ein sehr geiler Film. sagen wir spielen mal mit mal gucken wie sich das ganze entwickelt mystery ladies and difficult choices so much for the quiet night i think you need to tell me what we're doing here nerve going already I'd just like to be prepared that's all a very powerful Chinese clan called the Choi's are here tonight to reacquire a porcelain ball that has been in the possession of their family for over a thousand years. Reacquire? What went wrong? A careless business transaction. So we're here to help them get it back. We're here to stop them getting it back. I presume you're not buying it. What do you think? Great. You know, I gave up stealing a long time ago. To do what? To study. Then tonight's your lucky night. How do you work that out? 
Because the only thing studying will get you is unemployment. Failed education is still no excuse for stealing, you know. We're stealing from people who are prepared to spend millions on a piece of pottery when there are far more worthy causes in the world. What on your worthy cause are you? Tonight I am. Yeah, heute Abend ist ein guter Zweck. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I guess you could see it that way. You know, maybe you got a point about relieving some of these people of a sliver of their money. Welcome to Hainsworth. The second part of the auction has just begun. Thank you. Nine ten to my left. Thank you, sir. Nine ten. Nine twenty. Nine twenty. Thank you. I see you. Nine thirty. Again to my Third left. Nine forty. Do I hear nine forty? Nine forty. Thank you, sir. Looking for nine fifty. 9.50 to my left. Do I hear 9.60? Fair warning. I'm selling. 9.50 once. 9.50 twice. So, for 950,000 pounds, this marvelous 12th century cabinet with its hidden compartment, which is... 950 grand. For its time. Just try to keep it powder dry. Oh, I'm sorry. If I had that kind of money, I wouldn't spend it on a fucking sideboard. Sorry. Why don't you try not talking at all? So we come to what I feel must be the highlight of our sale this evening, lot 247. And to introduce it, first I'd like to pass you over to our expert, Miss Katie Trent. Katie. What we have here is an absolutely exquisite example of late Ming Dynasty porcelain. Now, Is the bowl there? One of only three beautiful pieces remaining here. examples okay, great. of a red down. phoenix pattern Time. known to be in existence. Sebastian, if you would please. Thank you very much indeed, Katie. It is a truly exceptional piece, the sale of which cannot be passed without remarking that its owner, Mr. Samuel Farr, who is far too modest to mention it himself, has agreed to donate 50% of the sale proceeds to the Chinese Art Restoration Fund. Yeah, but he can't afford it. What did we say about not talking? Okay, liebe Leute, und ob wir diese Auktion gewinnen und diese Schüssel da kriegen, das seht ihr dann in der nächsten Folge von Late Shift. Wenn es euch gefallen hat, dieser interaktive Film, dann würde ich mich sehr über ein Däumchen nach oben freuen. Schreibt doch mal in die Kommentare, ob ihr weiterhin solche Projekte sehen wollt. Das ist ja jetzt mein erster interaktiver Film. Und ja, in diesem Sinne verabschiede ich mich für die erste Folge. Sag vielen Dank fürs Zuschauen. Bis zum nächsten Mal. Ciao, ciao.